Welcome to EasyMail Pro 2019. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to machine this complex decorative post using a fourth axis by indexing. So what we need to do is tell the tool where to travel from right to left. So we're going to make a curve. We're going to go to a linear move. I'm going to use snap to all and I'm going to right click twice on the end of the post. What that does is it gives me the coordinates on the right hand side so we're at a negative 35 inches y should be at zero and then z is going to be the radius of the part which we're going to use 5.5 you can see the blue uh, point at the left end and we're going to go right to x zero now we're going to create a machining strategy I'm going to go right to advanced. For tool info, we're going to use a ball end mill. I'll use a quarter of an inch. And our surface is the radius of the part, 5.5. The depth is zero. We're going to cut to the surfaces themselves. Under cycle data, we're going to turn the offset to off. Under verification, we're going to index around X. We'll make 360 copies and they're at one degree. And of course you can tighten up the angle uh, for the desired finish. Now I'm going to go to machine and verify just to show you what happens when you don't select the surfaces. So now we go to add machining surfaces, select our post, and we'll verify that again. This strategy will work for any kind of technical parts. It does not have to be art. I'm going to go to the stock setup and I'm going to switch from a rectangular block to a cylindrical x-axis. We're going to hit auto setup and OK and we'll take a look at a 3D preview of that. Finally you would post your g-code using a fourth axis post processor you would add a CNC file. And that concludes our four axis video cutting this decorative post. Thank you for watching.